this lesson, candidates of Kampala Junior Academy. My name is Teacher Hawa. As usual, I'm here to take you through the English lesson for today. But before we start the lesson, we know that this is an era where we have COVID. So please, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, make sure you stay protected from the disease. Wash your hands frequently. Keep a mask on whenever you're talking to anyone. Please, for you to remain safe, we want you safe. Now, uh, we have a lesson or lessons on Zoom, but we also have lessons that are video recorded. So what are we going to look at today? Today we are going to look at electronic media in this recorded lesson of ours. Now, when we were in primary five, we looked at a print media. In primary five, we looked at print media and the word media, the word media, we shall start with that. The word media refers to the main ways that large numbers of people, large numbers of people receive information and entertainment. So when we talk about print media in primary five, we refer to those ways in which large numbers of people receive information, but which is written, which is written, which is typed. Mm, through newspapers, through newsletters, through magazines. This is our primary five. Now, we relate this to electronic media. Here we looked at print media in P5, in P7 we are looking at electronic media. When we talk about electronic media, what exactly are we talking about? Now, when we talk about electronic media, we talk about the main ways that large numbers of people receive information and entertainment, but with the help of electricity, with the help of electricity. Now, under electronic media, we shall zero on, under electronic media, we have two subtopics. The first one is radio, radio and television. Radio and television, this is the first subtopic. Then in the other subtopic, we shall look at other electronic media. So, when we look at radio, I, I know that many of us listen to the radios. Which radios do you listen to? Which radio channels do you know of? Radio channels. We have so many of them in Uganda. And I know even in your SST, you have learned about this under communication. So, in Uganda we have a number of radio channels. We have, uh, so when we talk about channels, we are referring to stations, radio stations. Hmm? We have uh, Sanyu Radio, we have uh, CBS, hmm? we have uh, KFM, KFM, we have Simba, mm -hmm. we have Simba, we have Radio One, and so many others. Which one is your favorite radio station? And what do you listen to on that favorite radio station of yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you my, my favorite radio station next time. What about television? When we talk about television, which television channels do you know? Which television stations do you know? TV channels, which ones do you know? I know you watch a number of them. Some of them are national and others may be international. But the national ones, the ones we have in Uganda here, some of them are NBS, we have uh, UBC, we have NTV, we have Record TV, Record TV, we have uh, Salt TV, there are many, there are many, we may not mention all of them here, and plus the ones you know, but then we also have those ones that are international, like the CNN, the CNN, we have 
BBC, eh? and so many others. All right. Now, under radio and television, we are going to find new vocabulary. Under radio and television, we are going to find new vocabulary or vocabulary related related to radio and television. Let's look at uh, some of the vocabulary that we are going to look at here. Some of the vocabulary that we are going to look at radio and television. Now, we've always said that when we look at a vocabulary, when we look at vocabulary, when we look at vocabulary, there are certain interests that we always have. There are certain interests that we always have when looking at vocabulary. First of all, we need to learn the spelling of the word. Two, you need to know the meaning. What does that word mean? Huh? Three, you need to know, is the word a noun, a pronoun? What is it? All that information you need to know. Does the word have an opposite? Do you know the opposite of that word? Huh? So we are going to look at a few vocabulary here. We are going to look at a few vocabulary here. Uh, we shall look at the word channel first, since we have talked about it. We shall look at the word channel. This is the spelling of channel. We say that if a word is complicated to you, if you think that the word is hard, learn uh, in your own way how to memorize that word. How? By finding smaller words within that big word. In your own way. Your own way may not be my way, may not be your best friend's way. But for you, in which way do you think you can remember the word? Okay. What does the word channel mean? The word channel means a means of communication. A means of communication a means of communication uh -huh. so now we know this is the spelling and this is the meaning this word channel is it a noun is it an adjective is it a verb what is it the word channel is a noun the word channel is a noun and therefore we can form a plural what is the plural form of channel the plural form of channel is channels. The plural is channels because the examiner would decide to ask you to give the plural form of the underlined word and the underlined word is channel. Of course, the plural will be channels. Or write the plural form of the words below and among those words you have the word channel. So that is the plural form. Does the word channel have words? similar to it. Like we've said here when we're talking about radio channels and TV channels, I've told you that the word channel means station. Channels are stations. So if you are asked to give a similar word, a similar word to channel, a similar word to channel, those words, those words could be, you could write a uh, station, could write station. Another similar word is frequency. Another one is frequency. And another one is network. There are some others, but we've chosen these three. And when you ask to give a similar word, don't give the three of them because you know them. No, please choose one and write that. The one where you're very sure of the spelling. All right, that is one of the vocabulary. We've talked about the stations. I don't know which your favorite TV station is. Mm -hmm. Now, number two, number two, number two, we shall look at this word. And the word is program. The word is 
program. The word is program. What does the word program mean? What does the word program mean? What does the word program mean? The word program means the word program means the word program means something something that people watch something that something that people that people watch on television something that people watch on television or something that people watch on television or listen or listen to or listen to on radio that one is a program now look at this spelling of program it has m and m M M M M. There is another spelling. This one, program. We have this spelling as well, but this one is an American style. This is an American style. But because we mostly uh, prefer the British, since even the syllabus gives us that. We prefer that we write this spelling. Please don't write this. Don't write this. This is the spelling that we prefer for you to use. This is what will be marked. Alright? Because matters we are learning, we are looking at content, but we are also looking at how to earn marks, how best to get the best marks. Alright? Okay, so we are saying that program means something that people watch on television or listen to on radio. Which programs do you watch on television? Hmm? Many of you watch cartoons. Uh, some watch uh, programs on football. Others watch programs on fashion and style. But there are other programs that are actually very educative. We have programs on health. Mm -hmm. We have programs on farming. Those are all programs. They are aired on TV and even radio. We have programs on e-learning nowadays. Eh? During the COVID and even at this time now, we have programs running on TV and radio on e-learning. Okay? Alright. Now, when we talk about program, we look at a uh, the word itself, this word program, what is it? The word program is a noun. The word program is a noun. And when we are asked for the plural form, the plural form, when I write PL here, I'm referring to plural. The plural form of program is programs. Somebody will wonder now, teacher, where are you getting the answers from? From the dictionary. If you have a dictionary, Please, you look up the word, when you find the word, it will show you whether it is a noun, the dictionary will show you whether it's a noun, a pronoun, adjective. We looked at all that in primary six under the topic using a dictionary. It will give, even give you the plural form of the word if the word has a plural. It will give you the opposite of the word if the word has an opposite. And for one to find similar words, if you want to find the similar words to that word, the similar words to that word, where do you go? We looked at a thesaurus in primary six. The thesaurus will not give you meanings of words, but it will give you other words which mean the same as that word. So when we are looking uh, for similar words for a certain word, go to the thesaurus, look up that very word and then the thesaurus will give you similar words to that word but now what are the similar words to the word program what are the similar words to the word program a program may be a plan a plan it may be a time table a program may be a time table all right now let's look at uh, another word 
Let's look at another word. The word is the broadcast. In number three, we are going to look at broadcast. Broadcast. What does this word mean? This is the spelling. When I look at the word broadcast, I see a smaller word, road. I don't know if you see it as well. We have road and the word cast, broadcast. Mm -hmm. So after memorizing the meaning, you now, I mean the spelling, you now need to know the meaning. What does the word broadcast mean? The word broadcast means, the word broadcast means to send out, to send out, to send out programs, to send out programs to send out programs on radio to send out programs on radio or television to send out programs on radio or television all right now when we look at broadcast the word broadcast is a verb the word broadcast is a verb and when we talk about verbs we now start thinking about tenses because verb, I mean tenses are formed from verbs. So, broadcast is the original word or the root form of the word or the base form of the verb. The continuous is broadcasting. The continuous is broadcasting. The past tense, past tense is broadcast. The past tense is broadcast. The past tense is broadcast. And the participle is broadcast as well. The participle is also broadcast. All right? With the word broadcasted does not exist. Okay, so the first tense is broadcast, the, the participle is also broadcast. We say that the participle forms the present perfect tense and the past perfect tense. Hmm? Alright, the presenter broadcast a program on health yesterday. The presenter has broadcast a program on health. By the time I reached home, uh, the, the presenter had already broadcast a program on health. So please don't get confused. That is a common error among pupils. Uh -huh. Let's continue with uh, similar words. Similar words. Similar words to the word broadcast. We are looking at vocabulary learners and I'm sure by now you know that this is what we do when we are looking at vocabulary. Okay, what are the similar words to broadcast? What are the similar words to broadcast? Aha, uh -huh, broadcast may be to air, to air a program on TV. Mm -hmm. Maybe to transmit transmit uh, it may be televise televise another one is show another word is show let's look at, uh, let's look at one more word let's look at one more word one more word now before we go to the other word by the way uh, learners we need to know that when you when this kind of work is being tested it could be tested uh, to look for the verb it could be tested to look for a noun if we can form a noun out of that word it could be tested to uh, look for an adjective or an adverb we've always talked about that now the other word we are going to look at is broadcaster. Broadcaster. 
broadcaster. What does the word broadcaster mean? What does the word broadcaster mean? The word broadcaster means the word broadcaster means a person means a person a person whose job the word broadcaster means a person whose job whose job is presented is presenting a person whose job is presenting or presenting or talking talking on television or talking on television or radio broadcaster is a noun a person whose job is presenting or to present or talk on television or radio with see a number of broadcasters each program on radio hmm, has a broadcaster has a broadcaster there are those who broadcast uh, programs about health about sports about entertainment i know you know some of them and uh, you know their names all right so the word broadcast may be given to you when testing vocabulary but when the examiner is looking for this word now which similar words which similar words do we have for broadcaster this is very very simple broadcaster now the similar the similar word the similar word could be or is presenter the similar word is presenter all right now candidates what are we going to do i've looked at uh, the words related to radio and television so i'm going to give you a few words i'm going to give you a few words such that you also get a dictionary and find out the meanings of those words the meanings of those words Find out whether the words are nouns, pronouns, adjectives, or any other. Alright? Find out if the word has a plural. Find out if the word has an opposite. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few words here for you to look up. For you to look up in your dictionary. I know each one of you has a dictionary. Any candidates? One of the requirements is a dictionary Find out the meaning of each. Find out the meaning of each of the words below. Find out the meaning of each of the words below. Number one, we have Elio. Number one, we have Ariel. Uh, number two. Number three, we have 
video four we have eject five we have press aha uh -huh, please i want you to find out the meaning of those words then after that very briefly we want to look at some of the we want to look at some of the related abbreviations related abbreviations and then we will find out uh, the rest of the abbreviations yourselves related abbreviations one is going to ask now teacher where do i get the answers the dictionary the dictionary will have all that related abbreviations now related abbreviations number one we have cd we have cd i'm sure each one of you has come in contact with a CD. Okay? You may insert it in a decoder when you want to watch something, you may insert it in a radio when you want to listen to music. CD in full is compact, compact disc. CD in full is compact disc. Then another abbreviation related. FM FM in full uh, normally FM is related to radio sign FM KFM now FM refers to FM refers to frequency frequency modulation frequency modulation okay frequency modulation another common one is tv tv very very simple tv in full television tv is television now i want you to find out activity using your dictionary using your dictionary you're going to look up the abbreviations that i'm going to write here and then write their answers. Consult. Consult UBC. UBC, that is our number four. So, what is our activity uh, for this lesson? To find out the meaning of each of the words below and then to write the abbreviations below in full. Okay, thank you for watching. We meet next time.